I feel like Fury could get hurt. I mean, shout out Bo Matt with the Mac in the back. Yeah, and was it all, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Where's the say? <laughs> oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Where's the say? The, the 2015 throwback defense, bro, coming out. <laughs> That's a zero, bro, literally. That's a blank boy, bro. That's what he is, bro. <laughs> and then he lift the board. <laughs> and then he lift the board. <laughs> That's an obvious one. You shouldn't get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Mongols podcast. I'm here with Gary. What? <laughs> what? <I> mean... <laughs> uh, well, to put, it sim- <laughs> <laughs> to put it simply, fuck Dom, innit? Dom is swimming with his boyfriend, bro. That's that's why Dom's not on the podcast right now. Dom has actually went to get a doner kebab with his <laughs> with with his boyfriend from work. So Dom, I know you're in the car in traffic right now, but Fuck you in it with your fucking speedos on, bro. <laughs> Honestly. Oh man. Disappointing from Dom though, isn't it? I'm a, I'm a little bit upset. I can't lie, man. Just, I'm just gonna let you guys know now, innit? A couple days ago, we were meant to do this podcast. Yeah. Dom's set up. We've got a group chat. We've set up. Out of nowhere, this guy just stops answering his phone. Gary's here. All getting <laughs> fucked up. I'm getting fucked up. Midweek as well, by the way. We try to message this guy. Next thing you know, we get a phone call back 10 minutes before we have to leave. Oh, yeah, I was just swimming. I was just swimming with my friend, didn't it? As you do. As you fu- When was the last time? <laughs> when was the last time I went swimming? I mean, I couldn't even tell you. But it is what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's all right. Fuck it, man. We'll see, we'll, we'll, Dom will pop in in a minute anyway. Fuck Probably. it. Um, Probably. But yeah, uh, we're here to talk about... Oh, there's a few things to talk about. We were just watching the... Um, press conference for Fury in Ghana. Yeah, got a lot to say about this this fight. I thought the press conference was quite interesting. It was. It was. There was. I, I, there's a lot to take away from that press conference, man. Maybe. Maybe we'll speak about that. Maybe not. But I, I, it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. <laughs> it's a very entertaining fight. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to expect from this fight. If I'm being honest. You know, when I first heard about this fight, I told you. So, I mean, the, the fight is a bullshit fight. It should be, yeah. <laughs> it's it, it's a bullshit fight. Fury, everyone knows Fury should fuck up in Ghana, right? Fury should probably stop in Ghana within three, four rounds. It's fairly easily, yeah. Yeah. In Ghana, great UFC fighter, but he's never boxed before in his life, yeah? So Fury, masterclass boxer, should win, right? But we were just saying, there's <laughs> a part of us that feels... If Ngannou just comes out swinging, what happens? I really don't know, man. I mean, I feel like I feel like I feel like if Ngannou comes out swinging in the first round, I feel like Fury could get hurt. If I'm Ngannou, my approach to this fight is that I'm legit just gonna come out f- and just think of my, the first round as the last round. I feel like that's all he can do, really. Yeah, and just swing for level. If this fight goes past three or four rounds, then the, it's it, it's fairly straightforward. It should be fairly straightforward anyway. Yeah. But with but, the power that Ngannou's got in his hands, <laughs> I really don't know. If he comes out all guns blazing in that first round, it something bad could actually happen. I mean, but just imagine a world where, <laughs> where Tyson Fury gets knocked out by Ngannou I mean, in the first round, because that's when it would be as well. I feel like that's the only way it can be. Yeah. That's the only way Ngannou can win. Yeah. But it's a... Like it's a it's a viable way. If you try to imagine that happening, you actually can. Yeah, I, I can. <laughs> yeah. I, I can see it happening. It it, it doesn't seem. <laughs> and Garner, the fucking humblest guy as well. My man's just there, just start. Uh, man, just like <laughs> talking about his big piece every five fucking, fucking seconds. <laughs> Fuck's sake! That's it, man. Said you got a big Corey. Remember that, Engano? And Engano's reply: If you know where I come from, you know the answer to that. <laughs> Man didn't even ask you a question. He just stated it. I mean, You're still moving, yeah, moving right. aggressive with it, man. But um, 
Yeah, no. I, I, like I said, I think if I think if Ngana comes out swinging first round, second round, I mean, someone's getting knocked out. I, I actually don't think this fight's going past three rounds. I think someone's going to get stopped in the first three rounds. I think because it's exhibition, I feel like it has to go past three or four rounds. It has to. I mean, if it does, then Fury's carrying him. I think. Yeah. The thing is, if Ngannou comes out how he should and just swings, then Fury only one. <laughs> yeah. Well, either Fury gets KO'd or Ngannou gets KO'd. I think Fury should be able to catch him coming in then if he does you, that you would expect him to, to be able to yeah or in Ghana gasses himself out and it's game done yeah yeah but anyway it's a good well, we're gonna watch it we're, we're definitely gonna watch and it. we're gonna watch the undercard as well i mean of course we are because they've the, already had a fight <laughs> the undercard's already happened if you want to bet on the undercard do it now guys because adelaide has just pretty much punched up fucking fabio, fabio wardley yeah. aka dom hence why dom's not here right I now mean, yeah <laughs> that fight's already happened so if you, if you want to win some easy money you know. What do you think about the fucking the Adelaide thing? It's hard to actually see what happened. Yeah. But... It looks like he was chatting shit to like one of his friends off camera. Yeah. It looked like Adelaide was chatting shit to one of Fabio Wardley's friends. Yeah. And then it just... And Fabio Wardley barely even tried to hype. He literally no. just paused in the middle of the interview. Yeah. And Adelaide just goes for him. He's, just, he's looking I mean, for any little opportunity. Wardley went flying as well. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then Wardley comes back with a fucking... A hole in his a chin. hole in his chin. How do you get a hole in your chin like that? His chin was dripping. Might as well like dripping blood. Tap. But um, not looking good for Wardley, man. That's a bit embarrassing, man. Yeah, I f- yeah. I think that fight's already done. I mean, yeah, it's one and over. Fucking <laughs> who do you think would win anyway? You I'm, was you were saying you don't rate Wardley, isn't it? I'm not a big fan of him. I think I'd like would win anyway. Really? But even after seeing that, I'm just. Makes uh, makes it more so. Adelaide looks like he's got some fucking grit in him, isn't it? He looks yeah. he looks like he, he's one of them guys just he's literally ready for a scrap. He's all built the time. like someone that's got a lot of fucking power. Yeah. A lot of power. But his attitude as well matches it. You know like AJ's yeah. built yeah. like for power, but AJ's a bit like yeah. no, stay humble, stay hungry. He's a bit more reserved. But Adelaide's like, Who are you looking at, bruv? <laughs> you know pretty what I'm saying? Much, like, fucking, much, yeah. like, yo, <laughs> fucking don't don't be quiet during your interview when I'm punching <laughs> up your friend. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? And that's pretty much what happened. But yeah, man. Fucking but yeah, it is what it is. It's, it's exciting, man. Yeah, it's gonna be a good event, man. The Saudis seem to be doing a lot. They it seem did. to be doing it, man. I mean, you got Fury up there with the silly fucking suit doing the whole stand up routine. Fucking hell, man. It's getting As a bit always. boring. I thought it was interesting in the end, though, when he was like, um, he was like, I'll beat you up in a fucking in a the octagon well, in the cage yeah. as well. And <sighs> which, fucking, which wouldn't happen. And God, who just <laughs> fucking. You would have not there. <laughs> you would not like, there. Focus on boxing first, man. Yeah. I mean, if I was in Ghana, what I would have said was like, yeah, let's do that. Sign the contract now. Yeah. Put your hand out and shake on it. That's what I would do, bro. By rights, that is a very easy win for Ghana. Yes. Yeah. But that's what I would be encouraging it. I don't know why he didn't Absolutely. encourage it. It would be easy money for Ngano. Encourage the thing, bro. Encourage the fucking thing, yeah. bro. I would, I, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's just focusing on knocking Fury out in the ring instead. Yeah. I mean, yeah. What do you think of the uh, Eubank Smith 2? Did you watch that fight? I did watch it, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was very impressed. I'm not going to lie. Very you, you've impressed. always been a fan of Eubank, but you were picking Smith, which I thought was weird. Correct, yeah. yeah. But yeah. But I think you lost faith in Eubank, innit? I did, because yeah. I feel like he got he, he got beaten up like pretty bad it's a bit embarrassing isn't it, the first against, one against smith yeah and i don't rate smith and yeah. i thought if that's happened if, if he's done that to eubank in the first fight you know maybe eubank's confidence has been beaten out of him like you know maybe he's just not up to it i don't know but i was obviously wrong a lot of people were picking smith i mean smith yeah. was the favorite but then he was yeah but you know what was weird as soon as the fight started <laughs> Eubank just... I mean, that was Eubank's best performance. It was. It's the, it's the best I've ever seen him look. Yeah. If I'm being honest. I mean, considering that Eubank got stopped by this guy at the fight before, <laughs> this guy, this guy's confidence, you can't knock the confidence of Eubank, bro. Yeah. He, Eubank's mentality yeah. is very strong, man. Yeah. This guy does not give a flying fuck. This guy came out all fucking singing and shit, just fucking... He did the little jump over the rope. No, not one fear. It's if true. you compare it to like AJ fighting Ruiz after he kind of got stopped he didn't even get stopped like Eubank did because Eubank was all over the place AJ yeah. was like on his knee standing up looking AJ, at him AJ's got no heart there but so. and he came out all soft in the next fight Yeah. usually man will think twice about coming out after they've 
facing someone else. Even like if you look like Lewis against Rahman, yeah? Yeah. It comes out a bit tentative, you know? That's just normal. I don't understand that. Eubank doesn't seem to give a flying fuck, bruv. Mm. You are confident, man. You have to rate Eubank, man. The mentality, I definitely rate. Yeah. And the skills are looking good as well, man. Listen, shout out Eubank, man. Shout out Bo Mac as well, man. I mean, shout out Bo Mac with the Mac in the back of the track. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the only, I think that's the only reason why Eubank actually won that fight. I mean, otherwise he was getting shot. Apparently, Bo Mac was fucking flashing the thing to you. fucking Liam Smith. <sighs> Liam Smith's there. Like, I'm not throwing one single punch while my man's holding the <laughs> fucking Glock 45 at me, bro. Honestly, I'm I'm actually su- I'm surprised how he even got it into the country. To be honest, I mean, Bo Mac with the Mac in the back, bro. Bo yeah. Mac 11, bro. Bo Mac can do what he wants. Bo McIntosh, bruv. Fuck. Honestly, this guy does not give a flying fuck. These guys are millionaires, you know? And he's not even going to serve a sentence for it. I, no. I mean, I'm apparently, you know, apparently he's in cell now. Is he actually? Yeah. Apparently, he's going to get put on remand and he's going to have to stay in the country until October or something to face a trial. Oh, really? And that trial was going to mean that he doesn't come back to this country. That's what I think. But then Eubank doesn't fight in England ever again. You know what I think we should do? I think we should go to Manchester and try to find Bo because that guy's in a McDonald's somewhere just okay. wandering around because that guy cannot leave the country, bro. That guy cannot leave the country. That's true, man. I'm just imagining this guy. Imagine this guy walking through Manchester City Centre just literally tooled up as well. Just thinking nothing of it. Like, I mean, this big motherfucker. That's a good shout, man. <laughs> this big guy. Well. It's, de- it's definitely something we could do, you know. <laughs> Why don't we just run up in a hotel? I mean, he would give us an interview. Of course he would. He would legit start chat- chatting shit to the- about the laws in England and shit. Yes. Like, I about, didn't even know there was anything wrong, you know, fucking. Yeah. We all carry fucking machines. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much true. I was man. just protecting myself. <laughs> Matt's going to fucking view Manchester, bro. And just fucking. <laughs> what, just tooled up watching Barbie and shit, bro. Fucking hell, bro. Fucking. You gotta respect Bo Matt, man. You have to. I mean, man. it's fucking hilarious. It it's is. Fucking... It's very It's very funny, man. <laughs> I, think, I, I think it's very funny. Do you know apparently you got how he got it in? There was. He, he came on a private jet, innit? Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. And then obviously. He's just brought all his all his all his guns with him. As you would, because you're Bomac, isn't it? But then you get searched. That, that's, that's what I would have thought. An airport coming in, even if you're on a private jet. That's what I would have thought. Apparently not, man. But apparently not with carry on. Oh. Maybe I don't know. Still gotta go through fucking That's what I would have thought. But anyway, he's literally just walked off this private jet, walked out. He's just walked around Manchester, As pulled you up. And then on the way back, he thought it was a good idea just to go bog standard through the flipping airline. Nice little first class, first class <laughs> ticket on American Airways. To prison, bro. yeah. Fuck. Man got that first class ticket to I prison. I got the recliner seat in fucking, hell. fucking Manchester Penitentiary, <laughs> bro. In, well, I don't even. I mean, I don't even want to talk about Arsenal and fucking United, man. But we can fucking talk about it. I mean, it's a very good win for Arsenal. I would say it's not deserved. I would yeah. say it. Draw, was like. The way the game planned out, that that's what it should have been. Both teams deserved the point, I think. Mm. But uh, Man United are dreadful. I can't lie. Man United are in a very, very dodgy time right now, man. They're in a bad place at the moment. I did think in the game we looked all right. I thought... You looked all right in in spells. Yeah. But then again, I think the, what the side of the game was just two moments. You know, like... Pretty I, much. I think there wasn't much between us, really. Yeah. I think, it, it, like, those two little moments basically now make Arsenal feel like they're dog's bollocks when I thought they were pretty average in the game. Arsenal didn't look great either. I thought Arsenal weren't great, man. No. I wasn't impressed at all. And I didn't think we were great either, don't get me wrong, but I just thought it, a draw was deserved for both teams, really. Yeah. But then, like I said, if the moments were different, Garnacho scores that goal, we win 2-1, we're walking around like dog's bollocks. So, But both both teams are a bit, bit ropey, but I think, um, yeah, Man United in general right now, like, Ten Hag, you've got a lot of work to do, man. He has, he the has. Whole, the whole team has got issues right now. We've got about yeah. 17 men out on injury. Apparently, the whole defence just collapsed like <laughs> fucking dominoes in that game. Yeah, one at a time. you got fucking the, the 2015 throwback defence, bro, coming out. <laughs> Why the fuck is Johnny Evans coming out against Arsenal? I really have no idea. 35-year-old Johnny Evans, bro, stuck in the mud. Next to stuck in the mud himself, bro. Premier year in again, bro, for this season. Harry, Harry Maguire is terrible. He is so bad. Leave bro. Maguire alone. Man. No, no, leave no. Him alone, bro. You know who should leave him alone? Gareth Southgate, bro. This guy has not played a game in fucking years, bro. And now apparently this guy is fucking England's best centre back. It's shocking, man. This guy is shocking. He's terrible. He is terrible. That was a championship defence, bro. Honestly, when they brought them out, literally it was just whoop, decline, bro. 
I mean, it did seem to go downhill from when they brought them to on. It's a championship defence. Or did it go downhill from when Garnacho's goal was, was deemed Yeah, outside? they were on just before that, though. But yeah, I, so, I, I thought we looked rope in defence as soon as them two came on. They're so yeah. slow. You can't be that slow now. I mean, Maguire, Maguire's never been quick. And Johnny Evans has never Johnny been Evans quick. And 30, now he's 35. 35. It's a disgrace that Johnny <sighs> Evans still start, still comes on from against Arsenal for Man United. I mean, yeah. yeah That's disgraceful. It's, it's not great. It's the, yeah, I, the club is in turmoil big time. They're in a bad place, I think. And then right after that, right after this fucking... I was with Dom watching it as well. And I was giving it to him when Garnacho scored. And obviously that goal got disallowed. I mean, that's actually why Dom's not here. Because you, <laughs> you've actually punched him. I mean, I mean, Dom <laughs> Dom actually started trying to give it to me as well. When he got that dead Rice goal. And that Rice goal as well. By the way, Declan Rice. like He literally takes 25 minutes to shoot that ball. And not one defender wants to get in the way of it. Oh my God, Dom's actually... I mean, Dom's here now. <laughs> Apparently this can't upset as well. <laughs> Just a bit rushed, that's all, bro. Yeah, a bit rushed. Are you a bit rushed? Are you a bit rushed? Are you? I mean, it's fucking. You got to balance it. You got to just fix the stand a little bit. Do you want to do that? Because obviously, I'm breaking the finger. I'll let you do that. Where the fuck have you been, bro? <laughs> this guy's in there. Been there you fucking. Know. Where's your swimming trunk, bastard? Doing bits and bobs. And Dom's actually fuming that we've got him to jump straight on the mic. Honestly, imagine coming 45 fucking hours late and then being a. Fucking, we're talking about silly Arsenal anyway, Dom. Silly Arsenal? We're talking about silly Arsenal beating Manchester United, man. What was it? Oh, oh nah, nah. Where's the say? <laughs> oh, nah, nah. Fuck where's the say? <laughs> <laughs> now, I was just basically saying how bad it was that we had to bring on fucking Johnny Evans and um, me, Harry Maguire. It's fucking here, man. Huh? Hot in here, man. It's one of the hottest days I feel like I've had in a... It's been in... It's the hottest day of the year. So nice. Today, nice. is it? moving, bro. It's very hot today, man. It's not great, man. You know what's really good? Where I work now, um, uh, we actually got air conditioning installed. And yeah. honestly, it's an absolute lifesaver. It's actually better there than it is in my own home. It can make you ill, though. That's the only thing with it. Yeah, yeah. but I'd rather air con and feel like alive. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know how you don't feel, but I can't sleep when it's so hot. It needs to be on gentle, though, isn't it? You like it gentle, do you? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely doesn't like it gentle, <laughs> But yeah, what do you think about the Arsenal game, Don? Go on. Because we were together watching. I was just saying how you were giving me shit afterwards after I gave you some shit. What? When, when we were watching the game, game together. What, what, what do you mean when he when was, was offside? offside? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fucking absolute useless, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you, you think about the win then? Um, yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I called it 3 1 before the game as well. Told you. Did he actually? It was barely a 3 1, <laughs> though, wasn't it? Did I call it 3 1? I don't even know. But it, oh, but, of, course he, of course he doesn't fucking know. But Dom, but Dom, it wasn't a 3 1 game, though, was it? Be honest. It was a draw. Towards the end. It was a draw and um, two moments in made a difference. In the last 15 minutes, he got slapped. Um, slapped? Slapped, yeah. Slapped how? After Garnacho's yeah, goal was disallowed. Yeah, got yeah. slapped. Arsenal controlled the game, yeah. We didn't get slapped though. No, Arsenal started to control the game. That's nah, it. No, nah, I, 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 I feel like the disallowed goal play, played a part because Man United's heads dropped. I would say, I would say after the first goal they scored, they scored, then it was game done basically. Uh, uh, no, sorry, after the second goal they scored. After Rice. After Rice's Rice goal, baby. Yeah. Dun, 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 terrible dun, dun, goal. Dun, dun, dun. Terrible goal. I mean, it's a terrible goal. It I, was, mean, I mean, it, Vice, was also, it was also a foul on Johnny Evans. Rice bossed but... up Casemiro in that game as well. Like, literally bossed him. Arsenal was shit. Game. I was just saying, <laughs> I, 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 Arsenal <laughs> was shit. United was shit, but Arsenal yeah, yeah. was shit as well. Fucking Casa Zero, bro. Casa Zero, bro. Literally. <laughs> Casa Blank Boy, bro. That's what he is, bro. <laughs> Imagine two moments giving this cunt the battery in his back to come here at fucking three and a half Absolutely, hours late bro. and fucking call him my I'm surprised he even invited me today, bro. Because <laughs> you knew what was going to happen. Shut the fuck up, you shit. I'm surprised, bro. bro. I mean, were you impressed by Arsenal? Be honest. Nah, shit. I thought both teams were pretty shit. I thought they were shit. It made me feel they bad were. about both teams. I feel like both of them now, I feel even less like they're going to compete for the title. Just watching them play against each other. Really? Well, May United are definitely. May United, like I said, the whole defence has collapsed. We brought on two senior citizens and one of the worst defenders I've ever seen. And we've got a shit sign in Anthony who beats up people, apparently. Domestic violence. Oh, yeah, shit. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Allegedly. He got dropped from the international team. Dropped right? from the international team. United have to deal with it now as Man well. United it's from bad to worse, well. that as well. And they've already set the precedent with the Greenwood shit. I was so going to say, Greenwood. Here we, go, bro, bro. here we go again, bruv. Apparently, there's a whole fucking battery ram, bruv. They're treating them fucking self defense classes uh, in uh, Carrot. On top of that, Jesus a little Christ. bit off topic, we'll come back here. But did <laughs> you see the sacking of freaking the Spanish 
women's team manager. Are they, are they sacked him? They, they sacked yeah, him, bro. Yeah. Really? They yeah. sacked him. You know why they sacked him? Because we brought up on a podcast mm. that he shouldn't get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, bro? You might have a point there, but you know what he got sacked for? What? And you were gonna like you were gonna be seething at this, right? Don't say something stupid. Okay, so you know the the president, yeah, who obviously grabbed the woman and kissed her, right? Is he, he been sacked? Is that you're talking about? No, he's been sacked. He got sacked a long time ago. But the Spain but, manager as well. But but can I tell you why the manager got sacked? Yeah. yeah, who did nothing. Yeah. Because he watched his speech. He was at his speech, and he got up, stood up, and clapped after he spoke. And so did many other people. Surely, and no. they've sacked him for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> what speech? The one so, where he said, I'm not guilty? It, no, it, no, there was one way. Like, basically, the guy literally was pouring his heart out. You could see it in his eyes. He felt like really remorseful for, for everything. Um, but, he he, was, but he was saying, I've done, I haven't done anything worth being sat for. Correct. He was trying to defend himself. And, 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 he was, and he was saying, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for all of this. But yeah. he didn't, you know what I mean? I didn't mean to do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, you know, he, he was saying he respects women. You know, he likes, you know, he women, women. women's football. <laughs> I like women. <laughs> I mean, don't yeah. we all? We all like but, women. But, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's one of them ones where it's like, you know, I like women's football. I've done a lot for women's football. Yeah. This, that, the other. And he has. Yeah. So. The guy when, stood up and so, clapped So he got up and clapped and said, good speech. Sacked. What? Sacked, bro. This world is fucked up. I mean, I, I've never well, seen anything a discussion? like that. I've never seen anything like that, man. That's a dreadful. What is he the manager of the female team? He was the manager of the yeah. female team. Yeah. Did you see him? He's got like um. I haven't seen him. No. If you maybe get a picture up or something. Yeah, yeah I'll put it up on the edit. Put, yeah. Um, he seems like a cool dude. But to be fair, they were saying he's very like harsh in the training yeah. side of things. But I mean, who man? What manager isn't sounds that like, wants to win? Sounds like yeah, a good exactly. manager. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so. Yeah. I felt bad for him. I felt bad for him. Lost his job. The other one lost his job, and yeah, yeah. There ain't no coming back from that. I don't think. I mean, it's not great. Was, they were talking about turning a new leaf with women's football. So now they've got a female manager managing the squad which is great but why would he why does he have to lose his job for that to happen yeah i mean he could have left in time and then they could have brought her in oh, right, um, yeah <laughs> i think it's a joke in it i've got to be honest with you hey, listen, but more shit like this is going to happen you know and, and it's going to get worse before me, it gets better it is, let me ask you right. a question, like ask question. Nothing. I, I got a good question would it happen if it was the reverse if a female manager or a female or a female president kissed harry kane on the lips the reason why I'd say no is because men wouldn't kick up a fuss about it. Like, like, do, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dom's, Dom's getting cancelled for that. <laughs> no, no, but no, but men no. aren't going to kick up a fuss about it. In terms of, like, say, for instance, that man who 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 got kissed or whatever was like, but let's, didn't but, didn't feel a way about it. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, he didn't feel a way about it. The other guys in the team aren't going to say, "Oh, you need to feel a way about that." Go and get a, yeah. You know, yeah. you don't. They're not going to do that. But I even agree. if he did, let's say he said it was unconsensual, would she get sacked though? I'm not sure I she have, would. I, have I don't so, think no. she gets sacked. Sure she I think she might get to ask to be apologised again to get to get her to apologise. I don't even think she get asked that. I don't think so either. But but I think she she definitely wouldn't get sacked. It was just it was just it was just would. something that would slide, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know. But anyway, let's move on to more. Uh, more Actually, positive. you know what? The headline papers will probably say "lucky man." <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I mean, it'd be his fault. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why did he? Why did he? <laughs> That's the worst thing. Why did That's he? Allow why did he her... let her to do that when he's yeah. married? Yeah. That's what it would be. Yeah. And then it he was just... divorced. <laughs> and then he loses. Was... <laughs> what the hell is this bullshit? <laughs> you know, when you said it, I'm picturing it, and it's so freaking it's true, so, yeah, bro. It's so true. My man loses his whole family. His wife ends up on fucking. Because he got kissed. Yeah, and his wife ends up on fucking Love Island and OnlyFans, and apparently it's all right. Everyone starts <laughs> clapping her and respecting her. Of course. Saying you go, girl. Independent woman. All yeah. That shit. Girl power. Yeah. Multi billionaire. I mean, anyway, anyway, I mean, I'm shocked. So let's, let's go back to uh, to the original uh, topic. What was it? Arsenal? Man no, Man. yeah, I was just talking about main. So I was going to ask you a yeah, question. What do you on. think of your new keeper? No, yeah. So this is what I will say about Onana. Yeah. Onana is fucking batshit. Yeah. <laughs> Onana is batshit crazy. And he's been fucking dubious when it comes to actually saving goals. I admit that. Sickle However, ball. when I watched him Sickle with ball. you watching it against Arsenal, I thought he was very good with playing out from the back. Mm -hmm. I actually was quite impressed. One of the best I've ever seen. Bro, the guy had more touches mm -hmm. than some of our midfield, bro. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. I'm not being funny. Like He was actually very comfortable on the ball. Very comfortable. He's a very good footballer. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, so in that respect, I, I actually think he's going to change the way we play. But I think he's got a load of adjusting to do. But like I said, one of the bigger problems for me, like I said, Anthony... The defence, the centre-backs, horrible. The two, the two subs, isn't it? The two subs were horrible, Dom. I'm telling you right now, mm. that's like 2015 championship mm. defence mm. and we had to deal with that. Fucking disgrace. United need to sort themselves out. That's one of the reasons why we scored the goals, didn't it? Because if that, those I changes mean, weren't made, I don't think we I mean, it wasn't the fastest goals. shot. He didn't let that Probably, shot off too yeah. quick, was uh, it? Do you know what I'm saying? And then another, another, another thing that doesn't get mentioned enough for me, I think um, Christian Eriksen, his legs are gone. 
His legs have definitely. Gone. His, his legs, legs were gone, gone a while ago, but um, yeah. I, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Like he does other things though. Yeah, yeah he so. does. He does. But the thing is, if you're playing against Arsenal and you got you're playing against a midfield with legs uh, or any any midfield really in the Premier League in the top six, you can't just be someone who's uh, you get the ball and two touches later you're, you're releasing it. You have to be able to dribble to an extent and track back and win the ball back. I mean, the first goal for me was down to him. He didn't get back. You know, mm. the, uh, he was walking back. If watch the replay for your first goal, I don't know who scored your first goal again. Who was it? Uh, right. Oh, no, sorry. Um, first goal was Odegaard. Odegaard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, right, right after we scored, and he's just he can barely move, man. He can barely move. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he's yeah. a good veteran player to come off the bench, but you need someone. And we got Amrabat in now. Yeah. Hopefully, he comes and just takes that spot and starts the games from now on. He had a very good World Cup. Yeah, but do you think he's good though? I think he's a good player. I'm not sure how good. Yeah. But he's better than what you've got. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you'll make an improvement to He's team. got legs. That's the difference. He's better than what yeah. you've got in that position. Yeah, yeah. he'll make an improvement to yeah. the team, definitely. Number eight, battle box to box type of player. Yeah. Mm. But um, I thought Hoyland looked good, though. I don't know what you thought about Hoyland. He did. Mm. He played, what, 20 minutes, 25 minutes? Yeah. He looked like he could put himself about. He's big. Mm. He straight away looked like he was something different. To what he wanted to had. start scrapping Gabriel straight away. I mean, yeah, he backed up into Gabriel. Gabriel. He reminded me yeah, of the Ferguson, Ferguson guy, isn't it, a little bit? Evan Ferguson, yeah, yeah, yeah he got similar traits. Yeah. He looked very tenacious, Hoy- um, Hoyland, man. I'd love yeah. to see him start from now on, really, man. I, I, I think I, he should, really. I, think, yeah. I just want to see us. Yeah, I want to well, see him. Rash- we want Rashford on the left and then him up front, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Marshall offered nothing in that game. Nah. He's gone no. now, I think. He's done. Yeah. Yeah, he's done now. He was another one, just absent. He's done now. What do you guys think of the. So obviously the game finishes and then Ten Hag gets asked after the game mm-hmm. about why, because everyone thought it, why Sancho wasn't even on the bench yeah. in the game. Remember, we had this conversation as well, I told you. Yeah, now I've got strong thoughts about it, but I'm going to let you guys say first and I, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. So Sancho's come, so Ten Hag has basically said, to sum it up, he said, oh, my decision for Sancho be, not being in the squad is based on training performances. We have to reach a certain standard and I thought the players I, I've selected were of a certain standard and he didn't meet that standard. Basically said that. Yeah, Sancho comes out of an hour later and he writes this long statement about basically he's not a scapegoat. He feels like he trained really well and he feels like he's going to keep trying to get in the team no matter what. But um, he doesn't want to feel like he basically went against what Ten Hag said. He said he, he said he feels like he trained well and he feels like there's other reasons why he's been left out of the squad, which he didn't want to explain. I think he's got a good reason to think. I mean, what do you think, guy? I don't know. He's he's not had the greatest of times since he's been at Man United, mm-hmm. but I, I I don't know. I agree. Obviously, if you if you're not doing it in training, you can't just be gifted the chance to play every single weekend, week in week out. Yeah. But I don't think he's been given that much time. Actually, but who do you think playing. is outperforming him in training? Right. Who's wrong in the situation though? I think Ten Hag is wrong in the situation. I okay. think Ten Hag has lied. If I'm honest, I don't think it is the training situation for making it public. I think it's something else completely different. Why make different. it public, though? All right, this is what I would say. This is what I would say. And Ten Hag is lying as well. He's lying. Well, this is, this is what I would say. This is what I would say. It's, if Ten Hag gets asked the question, why isn't Sancho in the squad? What is he meant to say to answer that question? Make something up, man. Or, 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 like what, or just say, just, I'm just not say answering he's those He's got questions. a little injury. He's got a knock. All right, right, right. right, hypothetically, what if he said, oh, okay, he, uh, he's got an injury, but he doesn't. And then Sancho comes out and says, I didn't have an injury. Ten Hag looks stupid, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So he can't say he's got an injury if he hasn't got one. Okay. Next, so then what does he say then? Next question. But then if he says next question, it looks like there's an issue. So imagine the, the press conference there's guy says... There's an issue anyway. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, but no one knows. No, no. But it if the press conference guy says, well, why wasn't Sancho in the squad today? And he says, next question. That looks dodgy. So what's he supposed to say? The truth. Which is what? Which is clearly what he said, what he thinks. That's what he thinks. So you think Ten Hag is, is being honest? I think Ten Hag... I think Sancho did not meet the standard. A lot of these players, I think players like Sancho, Maguire, and a couple of other players that have been dropped out of the squad are, are actually trying to play the waiting game here. They're trying to get Ten Hag out and wait for a new manager. Really? Yeah. That's my, that's my conspiracy. To be fair, if Man United carry on the way they are, I think Ten Hag could be out. Yeah, but I think that's what they're banking on. Because I'm not being funny. You don't come out with a statement like that and expect to play for the rest of the season. Then. I know what you mean. So are you telling me, is it, remember, remember, it's a couple of days after the transfer, the transfer window's closed. So he's done that. Not in, not in Saudi, it's not there. It's still open. Yeah, but he's Saudi. not trying to go Saudi, bro. Sancho, mm. for me, that was a terrible move from him. Terrible. 
What, to say what he said? Terrible, terrible move. Because he ain't going to get played now. I mean, he's basically benched himself for the rest of the year now. So yeah. clearly you don't care about playing football, Sancho. If you wanted to play football, you wouldn't have released that. Go and have a meeting with a manager. Do what you're maybe, doing. Maybe he's going to try and get a move now, isn't it? I, I'm not summer. being funny, Dom. Listen. I mean, in, in the winter. Dom, but imagine you're a boss, yeah? And your employee says, your employees, you feel like your employee's not working well. He's, mm. not, he's not doing his work well enough, yeah? And then you tell him, listen, I don't think you're doing your work well enough. And he tells you, listen, I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing my work well enough. You know, tell him, it doesn't fucking matter what you think, bruv. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter if you think you trained well. That's what he's basically saying. He's like, I think I trained well. You can think that all you like, Sancho. It means nothing. Mm. The manager is the manager. You love that manager talk, Dom. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, the, you can't go against the manager. Like, I, I just imagine people doing that with Mourinho or Fergie back in the day or Arsene Wenger. Yeah, they you, like. They're not playing. Yeah. They're not yeah. playing. So, Sancho, you've benched yourself for the rest of the year now. Well done. But what did he exactly say? Did he say, I thought I played well in training? No, he said, I'm being scapegoated. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm he being, called Ten Hag a liar, basically. Yeah, he basically called yeah. Ten Hag. He, he, he said, I've been training well. Yeah. Well, the, if you've been training well, if that's what you think, that's fine. You can think that if you want, bro. Leave the club and go to another club and train well. But it doesn't matter if you what you think. It doesn't his, matter what you his think. opinions don't matter at all. It doesn't matter. By rights. What are you coming out and saying that for? Yeah. Because now you're not going to be playing for the rest of the season. And you at the last the last part of the statement, he's like, all I do, all I want to do is play play football. Clearly not, because then you wouldn't release that statement. Obviously, it's one of them ones where it's like riled him up in it, and he hasn't spoke to anyone before he sent that message. That's what's happened. He hasn't put it. Well, that's even there. worse. Mm. That's but even worse. Say to him, do not send it. That's even worse. That's, what I'm saying. that's but even worse. Off the cuff. But I was just saying to Gary, what I, what I think is that I think players like Sancho and Maguire are trying to play the waiting game here and they're trying to get, um, they're trying to wait for Ten Hag to hopefully leave or get out or get sacked. And I think they're trying to wait for another manager because why else would you do that? I don't see why else would you do that. You've done irreparable jam- damage. You know? but, but why would Ten Hag get sacked though? No, but I'm just saying, I, I think that's what they're hoping for. They're just waiting for that because clearly, they're not happy with what's happened. But anyway, listen, Sancho, at the end of the day, you've kind of fucked your Man United career now, I think. But all your, all, most mm. of your top players are playing for him. Like, they respect him and they play for him. Yeah, but I think the players that have I been moved Bruno out... I think really likes him. Yeah, because yeah, he's still playing. But I think the players that have been moved out, like Harry Maguire, like Sancho... Well, like, Harry Maguire, though, they're, they're the dead, dead wood. Bro, bro. look like, at Harry Maguire. Let's look at Harry Maguire. He's dead wood. We bro. accepted a £30 million bid from West Ham from Harry Maguire. He didn't want to go. Right, you're right, yeah. He doesn't want to go. Mm. These men don't care about football. They they care about getting their paycheck, bro, and care care about mm. staying on their wage that they're on. Sancho's on three three hundred k a week. A week. Maybe you got a point. They're probably trying to wait then. Yeah. He's on crazy money a week, bro. If he wanted to leave in the summer, he could have left. Yeah. But he don't want to leave because no one's gonna pay him that money. No, no one's Where's gonna he, where's Sancho gonna yeah. go? Tottenham, somewhere like that, isn't it? They're not gonna pay him that money. No. no. So he's not gonna leave. He doesn't want to play football. He wants the money and he wants to play football as well. So. But let's now be that now that all this stuff's happened with Anthony. Can Sancho get into in, into the squad? I don't yeah, think maybe so. he could. Sancho, Sancho's not coming in now. So who's getting in instead of Anthony? Garnacho. Garnacho, Palestri, mm. one of those, man. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably pick Garnacho over him at the moment anyway, wouldn't you? I would. Over yeah. Anthony? Uh, no, over uh, Sancho. Over Sancho, Sancho. yeah. I yeah. would, yeah. So, he ain't really lost out, if I'm honest. I mean, he's lost a sub. Well, no, he, he'd be on the bench, though, innit, Sancho? I think so. He could be on the bench? I don't think so. No. Nah. I think he will yeah. be. No, not for the next couple of days. He's got to be a dot wages as well, I think. Dot in my opinion. wages? Yeah, I think he would be. Harsh Why? Man. Harsh manager, man. Because he's come out and talking back. They can't just do talking that. Talking out against the club. No, you can. For insubordination, you can. Oh, okay. For like, because so, coming out to the media like that. You can't really statements like that. Mm. You can't really statements. If you've got Maybe. a gripe, if you talk to the manager about it, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's the next topic, man? Fuck United anyway. Shit cunts. Um, Chelsea Forest. Yeah, ch- t- t- talking of fuck ups. <laughs> Although they're up against Forest, I think Chelsea are going to do it right. I mean, season, Chelsea man. fucked up lie. Forest the whole game. <laughs> they fucked up West Ham the whole game. Yeah, but Chelsea have scored four goals yeah, since 2019, like, bro. Going on with the scoring, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is going on, bro? <sighs> yeah. Come on, Gary, what's going on? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 honestly, I don't know what to say. Because whenever I've watched Chelsea this season, they've actually looked good. Mm. They've created a lot of chances. But they just can't score for some reason. I don't know what it is. It, it, it might be what you said last week about how it's still like a, a process. It's still early. Yeah. It's it's still early. Do you feel yeah. like it's looking like it's, it could get better though? Because I think it is. I, yeah, if I'm in yeah, on it. Definitely I feel does. like we'll be all right. We'll do all right this season. I don't... Um, top four maybe? We'll, I think top four out push now. Yeah, but you can't... You can't I mean, the Forest... It's still very early. You can't be in teams like Forest and Man. No, you can't. You can't. Can't. Especially not at Stanford Bridge. No, it's weak. 
Yeah. But but I do still rate Poch and I still think Yeah. But I, it's just about how quickly can he get these players together and then show Yeah. In yeah. shape to start I mean, winning I mean, games. you know, they've they've got all the potential in the world to yeah. be a top top top. I mean, team. they have, yeah. Feel, the players, man. You, yeah. you know what's fucked up? It feels like every week we're we're, we're just talking about how shit every other team is in the Premier League except Manchester City, bro. Do you feel like that a little bit? Because there's nothing wrong with Man City, is there? <laughs> yeah, but like we're always bigging up Man City, and then every week we're just saying United shit, Arsenal shit, well, I think Chelsea since, shit. Well, well, hang on a minute. I think since the podcast has started, we haven't said bad things about Arsenal at all, really. I've said terrible things about Arsenal. Well, you would. You say terrible things about Arsenal anyway. No, but, but I actually... But Arsenal I, have been fantastic I since actually, this podcast taken off. No, but I have. They have. Arsenal have done well. Mm. I, yeah, no, they have. But, but I City, actually but... think after that game against United, I don't think Arsenal... Arsenal aren't going to win nothing. No, it's just a switch up. No. It, 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 Arsenal still come second. You, you know what? The, the, yeah, they could come second, yeah. but then they're not going to win the Premier League. But you know what the problem they is, bro? The Premier League's like, done like, already. It's the introduction of like, Havertz. And the them, Premier League's like, done already. Yeah. That's what do you think of Havertz? I think Havertz is terrible. I don't like. I don't rate him, bro. Havertz I don't is rate shit. Him. I've I th- got to be honest with I you. I think he's a great player, man. Havertz didn't do anything the whole game. Martinelli didn't do anything the whole game. All these players were absent, bro. Yeah. I thought a lot but of these Martinelli, players. you know, he's a decent player. Whereas no, Havertz, but still though, like, is like he, he flops pretty much most of the time. I wasn't so wasn't impressed it? by Arsenal, bro. You know, um, I think Enketia done all right. He was okay, but he's he's not great. No, look when Jesus came on. Look what happened. Jesus is brilliant. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is a fantastic player he played player. 10 minutes bro brilliant he played 10 minutes and he uh, scored a goal and, and, after and he was already losing and he, and he absolutely killed Dallo yeah, yeah he was did. already losing though whatever That's man besides the point man. Whatever. <laughs> what's the next game after it's a fantastic Chelsea. goal man shut up bro Langer's goal was like a fantastic goal isn't it he's a little pussy get well, Langer oh goal? yeah King versus Richards and, yeah. and this thing I haven't seen so it'll be interesting to hear what you guys have got to say about it because I, I haven't watched it well, no, it's not Keane versus Richards Keane and Richards basically I think someone's a fan started on Keane after the game after their punditry. Oh, it wasn't Keane versus... No. Yeah. But I thought you put Keane versus Richards. No, Keane, Keane and Richards. Oh, Keane and Richards. Yeah, so basically, someone starts on Keane, does something to Keane, that like pushes him or shoves him. Bruv, in the video, what it seems like, if Michael Richards has come and pinned this guy up against the wall, yeah? And it's basically, imagine, just imagine... It's, joking, bro. Bruv, it's, it's like a film. It like. Just imagine... Richards holding the guy up against the door and Keen behind him then they're both just sticking it on this guy yeah, yeah. like two boys just like Raw. what are you saying now bro? like, you know, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean Richards is and they can both have it as well that's Richards the maddest thing they can, as, they can both as have as it well. he's they a can big, both yeah, have it bro. he's a big guy Talking about David, David had a lie, bro. Fucking I mean, hell. fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, but Richards had this guy up, bro. This guy was not, yeah. trying, not saying nothing to Richards. Bro. Yeah. Richards is one of those guys, he's like, He's like got a very like you know soft funny personality. Yeah. But this guy, if, he's like, he can have it. Yeah, if he sticks it on you, then you know this guy's strong as fuck. That is a yeah, fact, definitely. Yeah. And Keen is the opposite because Keen, his personality is just hard as fucking nails. Keen's aggressive as fuck. Yes, but yeah. he, he doesn't look like you'll no, mash man up. No. But, but, but I reckon he can have it as well. He can I definitely think he can. have yeah. it. I mean, yeah. I mean, this guy. I mean, you you wouldn't want to fuck up with Keen, man. I don't no, think, man. I don't think so. I feel like Keen's the type of guy that will pick shit up from around him and shit. Like, yeah, he would do anything. Like, <laughs> Pretty much. And I feel like you could punch this guy up and this guy would get up all bleeding, smiling yeah. and shit. Trying and to he would, he would be, he would be laughing as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst. Still thing. trying to. It'd be like a gypsy fighter, would not it? Like one. I mean, pretty much, man. Yeah, but yeah, no, I just thought it was funny, bro. I just thought Keen Richards just in a two-on-two, bro. So what is it, a random fan? That, uh, yeah, a random fan. You should watch the clip, basically, yeah. yeah. It, all you see in the clip is just Michael Richards having him up and then Keen behind him, just like Literally. giving it to him. But it's like, basically, just imagine like adulthood back in the day. <laughs> it's like a scene from adulthood. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> what are you saying, bro? Real life adulthood. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. But you know what I'm looking forward to? What? This Korean drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, we, how long have we got? We've got 20 minutes, do we? Got 15 about, minutes? Yeah, got about 10, 15 minutes. All right, is, 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 the, is, the, is that the last topic, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We're going to try this uh, Korean drink called soju, and we're going to give it a go. Apparently, it's nice. So Who told you? <laughs> some some, some <laughs> Koreans. <laughs> this is what it is. Uh, soju by Janaru. Yeah, here we go. Soju by Janaru. Uh, it is peach flavor. It's meant to be one of the clearest types of alcohol. One of the cleanest types of alcohol. Oh, is it alcohol? Yeah, it's alcohol. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the cleanest types of alcohol, apparently. Yeah. So, let's give it a go, man. So, just, uh, imagine like sake, but like a more fresh beer version. Apparently, it's really popular in Korea. It's one of the big ones. So. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Let's so, get good reactions, okay? <laughs> what if I don't like it? Well, then you give a really good, terrible reaction. <laughs> We need views, bruv. We've been out of the game for a couple of fucking weeks, I mean, yeah. bruv. And you got here at fucking nine o'clock, you see. 
I'm going to toast it. Don't be in here on time next time. Why do I always get this dodgy fucking... Oh, sorry. It's, do you want the other one? small mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> and a small piece. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Man's got to say it for the podcast. All right, okay. I don't think you're meant to show it. I think, I think you can actually drink it from the bottle, but... We're gonna can you? We're going to show it. it just in case. It smells very nice, man. Yeah, well, wow. It smells very nice. I bet it nice. doesn't taste like it smells, though. I bet it does. <laughs> I bet it does. Well, I bet why, it does. Why you have to be negative, bruv? Huh? Anything you don't know about, you're always no, negative no, no, about, no, no, bruv. I know this is going to like, you know when them burn ones? They you think it's going to burn? Yeah, yeah I think it's going to burn. It's not going to burn. This is going to taste like a fruit shoot. That's what I think. Is it? What's the percentage? Yeah, that's what I was going to check. About fucking 4%, man. Oh, if it's 4%, it'll be nothing. I don't know what it is. No, it's not. It's not. It's more than that. Oh, it's 13. That'd be all right. It'd be like a wine. 30. That'd be fine. <laughs> it's going to be nice, that'd I be think. Right. That'd be nice. Smell it. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Cool, man. Let's go. Yalla. Nastrovia, Nastrovia. Salut, slant Yeah, that's fine. That's nice. That is, that is nice, man. That is nice. And I bet if you had a few of them, that would get you going as well, man. I reckon it would. That, that's very refreshing as well. I can't lie. That's a refreshing drink, you know. It, it is very refreshing, man. Does it remind you of the, you know, sparkling water with like added peach and stuff? Yeah. It's got that yeah. sort of A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's got it, like a nice minty, like freshy not taste obviously. to it. That is very fresh. Very fresh. Yeah, I like Maybe because it's just cold as well. I like, but I like that, man. I mean, I'm so happy we did that instead of the fucking I mean, tackies, yeah. man. Is that what you have prepared? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's it was either hot. this or we tried the it's tackies, to but it's too hot to do the fucking tackies, man. That is very nice, man. I like that. I'd actually have another one. It's nice. Very nice. All right. Well, was, uh, we got there in the end, Dom. Was it episode two, season two? Episode two, season two. We, we need to do a new intro, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, we, we will. Need to grab we'll a time to out. do it. Yeah, we'll you, you slap have... something in the comments, innit? Let us know what we should do for yeah. an intro. Innit? Should we, we make it funny, idea. or should we make it trying to be cool and serious? I mean, we are cool, but... or or a bit of diff- or a bit of a mixture. Nah, it's got to be funny, man. We're not. We ain't doing it serious. We're, we're serious, really, funny, really anyway. Some stuff's serious. Tom is funny. Look, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> No. Anything else? Anything else? No, man, I think that's, man. It. I think that's it for, for episode two, man. Oh, yeah. Saturday? We have a little drink? Oh, but, oh no podcast Saturday, though. We'll have a drink on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. No podcast Saturday, Sa- no? No. Well, Sa- we can well, do, I think we should do it midweek next I week. I think we can do a little pod Saturday if you want. I'm out, I'm out Saturday, though. Oh, okay. Well, 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 during the day and at night. We're, we're, we're having a drink, man. I think we're having a drink. Yeah. If, if you're coming out, you're coming out at night. What do you mean? On Saturday. Yeah, we're all going out, though. Oh, oh, we're all going yeah, out. Yeah, Akin yeah. stuff. He's coming out as well. But we're, we're gonna meet local, him. Local. Yeah, somewhere chill. Yeah. All right, sorry. Yeah, you just saw us. That's how we meet up, man. It's <laughs> right. as easy as that, man. See you later, guys. Take, Take it easy. Take it easy.